Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. So I got a question for you as we jump into our word for the day today. Um, going through any tough times, you know, troubles, things that make life difficult, maybe sickness, maybe relational strife, maybe money problems. These are all trials. They all are things that make life more difficult. And uh, sometimes when we hit those trials, we rise to the occasion and we're successful and we trust God through it. Sometimes we stumble and we struggle and we fall into temptation. And the book of James in chapter one gives us some insight into how we navigate these different struggles and trials that we come across. So I'm in James chapter one, starting in verse 12. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, and he himself tempts no one. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Then desire, when it has conceived, gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. So in this passage, James helps us understand the difference between a trial and a temptation. So trials have a couple of characteristics. Trials bring blessings when we are steadfast, when we are able to stand steady through that trial or that struggle. Um, they are testing us. Again, you see that term stood the test. And if we stand the test that we're going through, we receive a crown. There's this reward from God. So those are trials. And when you read this in James, you get this sense that, hey, God is just asking you to stand, to be firmly planted so that you can prove yourself and prove your faith through the trial. Now, temptations are a little bit different. James explains that a temptation is not from God, but it's from within. That's really helpful for us because sometimes we like to point the finger to things outside of ourselves when we feel tempted. We might want to point to another person or to a circumstance. But really what James is saying, the Bible is saying, is that the temptation is coming from within our own hearts. Temptation comes when we're lured away with our own desires. And those desires, once they have been conceived, once they've been you know, sprouted, they bring forth sin. And then sin, as it grows, brings forth death. So we have this contrast between trials and temptations. So what are you going through today? Is your tough time a trial? Well, let me encourage you. God just wants you to be steadfast. Trust him. Don't waver. Keep going forward in a walk of faithfulness. Stand up to that test and you'll receive a reward. Is it a temptation you're going through? Do you feel lured away by your own desires? Do you feel this idea that your, your desires are going to give birth to sin and then grow into death? Well, if that's the case, stop right now. Turn around, go away from it. But remember that if you do stumble, if you do give in to temptation, you have a faithful savior who will forgive you. All you have to do is go to him and ask. So whatever struggle you're going through today, I hope that this word from James helps you to understand it a little better and helps you stand up to the test. Have a great day, Calvary.